the history of the project of the atom bomb is extremely interesting, not only for the physics and the chemistry that was involved, but the deep moral question that has always worried me, that if I had been a scientist during the Second World War, would I have worked on nuclear weapons? And I don't know what the answer to that is. Did all the scientists who were working on nuclear weapons know they were working on nuclear weapons? I believe that most of the scientists working on nuclear weapons realised what they were doing. I was taught by one um, chemist, Alfie Maddock, who worked on plutonium, on the chemistry of plutonium. You can see on one of our videos me telling the story how he dropped the entire British reserve of plutonium, which at that time was only 10 milligrams, onto the bench and burnt the bench to get it back again. And certainly one British physicist who I knew who worked on uranium enrichment as a young student on the Manhattan Project knew exactly what was going on and was really surprised and enormously distressed when the bomb was actually let off. It is an atomic bomb. It is a harnessing of the basic power of the universe. He thought that it would merely be used as a threat, and the threat would be so powerful that it would never need to be used. The camera was six miles away when that picture was taken, so the sound was delayed, of course. Smoke clouds rose to 40,000 feet. Professor, obviously the Manhattan Project was incredibly secretive. Did the different protagonists in World War II guess or expect that the other side was trying to build this bomb? Because it wasn't like it, it had been theorised that such bombs were possible. Would the, other, would, the, would the opposing sides have been thinking, oh, I wonder if they are working on something or not? Like, was, it, was it speculated that such things were likely to be in development? I think certainly the British and American scientists thought that the Germans were working on the atom bomb. And in fact, they thought they had made much bigger advances than it turned out they actually had done. And if you watch our video about the Russian physicist Fluorov, you will see that he guessed that American and British scientists were working on a bomb because in the early 1940s, these people who'd been publishing lots of papers on nuclear fission suddenly stopped. And he wondered, why have these famous physicists stopped publishing? And then he thought they must be making a bomb. And in fact, he wrote to Stalin saying that the Russians should also start making a bomb. So I think there was some awareness I have no idea whether scientists in Japan had any idea about this or not. Speak and you are right? Yes. This is his lab coat. Yeah. Was he a big man? Yeah, he was like me. me. <laughs> and also, I mean, when we was a meeting here, sometimes he was like, we have to finish and to change the subject of the discussion. It's very much typical for Fluorov. 